Do you know if watermelon leads to a low blood sugar spike compared to mango? Let's find out. Today I'm having 250 grams watermelon. This should be around 75 calories. Let's see what happens. What do you guys do with the seeds? Earlier I used to take them out. Now I just swallow them. Let's see what my glucose monitor says. 39 mg increase. Same as when I had mango. How is that possible? If you remember when I had the same amount of mango, 250 grams, my blood sugar levels had increased by 40 mg. This is about the same. I was expecting the spike to be about half because watermelon has about half the sugar as compared to mango. But that didn't happen. Okay, I see what happened. Because watermelon has much less of fiber in it as compared to mango, which has pulp, blood sugar levels rose quickly to the same level as that of mango. But because the amount of sugar in it was much lesser, about half, blood sugar levels came back to normal much faster in just 45 minutes compared to one and a half hours in the case of mango. In other words, this graph actually confirms that watermelon had half the glycemic load as compared to mango. Because the area under the curve, the pink dots, was also half. Spike same, time half. The main learning for me is that even if a fruit has less sugar in it, but if it also has less fiber, it can spike blood sugar levels as much as a sugary fruit. Seeing this result, I'm going to try and have watermelon along with some fiber, like dry fruits, but I'll have to test it once. 